So in this example, let's say we want to count everything in this list that's greater than 37. So you could start this out the long way and start it out with an if statement and then build it. But since you already know that you're counting, it's going to be easier just to use the COUNTIF function. And the COUNTIF function, all it wants is the range that it's counting and the criterion that it's going to use. So if you want to follow along with this example, if you go to sheetshelp.com slash COUNTIF, you'll see the website be able to grab a copy of this template as I work through it here. In between that website and these videos, you should be able to learn everything you need to know about Google Sheets. But I've selected the range, so that was A2 to A5. I just did it by clicking and dragging with my mouse, but you could also just type that in. And then the criteria is pretty simple. Uh, one little quirk though, you have to wrap it in quotes. So we'll start out with quote, do the greater than sign, and say 37. All right, greater than 37, close it off with the parentheses. And there you go, it counted 45, 42, 37, but it did not count 37 because obviously 37 is not greater than 37. If you wanted to capture the 37, you put an equal sign into the formula and you get a four. All right, let's say we want to count all the dates. So we'll say count if, we use the same range and we'll talk about some different things that happen because we're working with dates. But it can be the same if we keep it nice and simple. We'll say everything before 2.23. Okay, so that counted two dates. That's these two. Those are both before 2.23. But if this isn't working for some reason, you may have an invalid date. So dates can be tricky. They can be hard for your spreadsheet to recognize. Um, I'm in the US, so this is month, day, year. If you were somewhere else and it doesn't seem to be working, you may want to check your localities. So we'll go to settings and look here at your locale. Mine's United States, change that if you need to. And then another way to work with this is to uh, put the date that you want in another cell. So let's say we wanted to 2322. If you type it in over here, you can make sure you get it right. So one of the things it does is it shifts over to the right. That's Google Sheets telling you it recognizes that as a number data type and a date is a type of a number. Uh, another way to check it for sure is do the is date function. So we'll say, is this a date? Comes out as a true. So we know we're good to use this cell as a reference. So we'll come back into the formula and then we'll sit, we're saying 223.22 isn't working. What we're going to do is say less than and then close the parentheses off we're done with those join this with an ampersand and reference cell c3 all right we'll hit enter and that's doing the same thing and the last way to do this if you're not doing a cell reference is using the date function so you would embed that inside of here so this is a date function inside the count if and the date function asks for everything in a same order here every time so it's a little bit more predictable February 23rd 2022 and we need our parentheses to end the function hit enter and that returns a two so all three of those methods are doing the same thing but dates can often be finicky so you may need to use any one of those three depending on what you're doing we're going to skip matching is a certain word and we'll take a quick look at it though you just put the word in quotes and we'll move on to one that uh, uses that concept plus a little bit more. And we want to look for the number of times the word sunny is anywhere in one of these cells. So we're going to use count if again, same range. But we want to do something a little bit different. We want to use quotes, but then we want to look for any characters. So that's the asterisk and then the letters sunny and then anything after it also close it off with quotes and there you go it picked up mostly sunny partly sunny and sunny and ignored partly cloudy if you want to do that where it doesn't include sunny you would just put in less than greater than inside of that and then you get a one because it's only counting partly cloudy all right another thing that you can do is count true or false 
So these are separate data types. It's, these aren't the word true and the word false. This is like a yes or no or a one or a zero. Data type is called Boleyn. And you do it just slightly different. So you would say count if again. We'll do the range. But now we don't use quotes. So if we want to say true, you just type it right in. Sheets recognize that that's a Boleyn data type and you get a three. Let's say we want to count something if it's blank. Pick the range. We'll just put two quotes in here with nothing in between them. Hit enter and then it's picking up these two. We'll prove that by deleting the two and a half. It's going to pick up a three. And in looking through these examples, if you want to go back to the dates and let's say you wanted to count the number of values between two dates, we'll look at the count ifs function next, which will allow you to look at multiple criteria so it'll allow you to evaluate more than one date. I'll see you in that next video. Thanks for watching. It's nice to have you along.